look at this, man. I mean, we got them lined up here. This is like donuts or something, dude. What are we doing here? We are gonna use our new tool. I, also I have eight cars. I have new tool. We're gonna find the blow-by. Now, you're probably wondering, what the heck does he mean by blow-by? I mean an engine that's getting pressure by the cylinder wall through the rings into the crankcase, basically losing power, and we want to measure what that is. But let's also talk about we kind of dialed this thing in. Because when you buy this uh, flow meter from a company called JTEC, they were happy, they, they sent this case out, we, we love it. The flow has to go through this meter. And so what we did is we bought all the oil caps for all the different applications, you know, and then we just put a uh, barbed fitting in half inch fitting in there, put the hose on that, put it on the meter, voila. So sometimes you gotta do custom stuff. Oh, I see, so as you're blowing through there, Give it all you got, dude. Let me just, come on. Let me see how much long ball you keep it going. <laughs> you only got it up to like four. Let me see, I'm a big blowhard, dude. We all know that. <sighs> oh, I got the five, bro. I think I just kissed you, Tyson. Yeah. I think I kissed you. We're, I don't think you kissed me, dude. Family. It's I know, family. dude. We got Fords out here. We got Rams, some high mileage, low mileage, and uh, Duramax. And we're gonna document this. I mean, do we even have any, uh, do we, first off, do we got one that's just a huff and puff blowing yes, like a mother? we do. Let's go check that one first. All right. So our first one here is what year making model is this? It's a 2016 Chevy 3500. And how many uh, miles does it have on it? And this one has 135. 135K. So we're gonna go cold and hot all right so we'll take off this cap we're gonna check it the old-fashioned way this is how we've always checked it oh man okay that's a shit ton whoa it's okay tyson which one that is that one it? right there it should be it's it. the one i got yeah put our adapter cap on here it's as easy as this tyson am i doing it right yeah this is amazing man i love to be able to measure things you know i'm and we'll hook it up on that side for the flow. Look at that, dude. So here we're at zero. This is it, man. This is as easy as it this, is. This is it. Let's see what this. it says. Here we go. All right. So it went up to five. Now it's kind of rev it up a little bit. Whoa. Take it to a. Here's what I want to do. Cold. I I want to go to 1500 RPM. Okay. I want to do that the same on every truck. So go up to 1500 RPM. Whoa. Okay. All right. So what was our reading? A shit ton. <laughs> so idle was uh, like 4.0 and 1500 was 12.0. Okay, let's go to the next car. Now, one of the reasons I'm doing this is we do a lot of used car inspections. And by the way, if you want a good used car inspection, I got one on my, uh, in my store that you can purchase and people love it. But this is another piece of information that we can give customers to kind of say what the condition is of you know, the blow-by going by their rings. That'll be super helpful. In fact, this is a little more helpful than measuring a brake pad in my mind. Okay, now let's let's go ahead and document how much this one is. Say uh, 2018, 165, 3,500. Okay, let's uh, start up cold. Just let it idle for a minute. Oh, see how much, holy smoke. This thing's hardly got anything. I mean, right off the bat, the other, the huff and puff was like at four. Let's take it up to uh, 1500 and see what we got. Notice that, this is good to know. It didn't change really, it kept the same. We're still at around 0.4. Okay, let it idle. The other thing I noticed, and this is good, when he goes to idle, we actually go to zero. It's drawing a vacuum on that. Cold, we're 0.2, and at 1500 we were 0.4. So. That, that one that was huffing and puffing and blowing the cap off, I mean, it's like exponentially a, a crap ton more. So let's go ahead and let this one warm up and let's see um, hot at 1500, uh, what's different about it. Well, this one warms up, you wanna check another one? 
Yeah, let's go ahead and pop the cap off here. Now we're gonna check my tow truck. We like to call her old Betsy. It's got 153. It's a 2008. Okay, let her rip. So cold. We're uh, we're gonna say 0.3, and give me 1500. All right. Let's go ahead and let this one warm up. Is that all the Chevys we got out here? Uh, there's one more. Ooh, this is the new one. 393,000? He put some miles on it. Whoa, baby. 2015, Chev. Okay. Ready? Let's, uh, we're ready to go. Let's do it. Okay, cold start. 1.5. Okay, take it up to 15. Not that much difference. My sweet idol. At 1500, 1.8. All right, let's let it warm up. Besides the one that was the huff and puff, this has got the most. So let's kind of see what the cap looks like on this one. Because this is how we usually check it. This is not bank, you know, doing that. Rev it up a little bit for me, Tyson. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll go ahead and let this one warm up. Let's check the other ones now. This is a uh, 2020, and he's got 145. Okay, here we go. You ready? Go ahead. What do we, what do we got at idle? 1.4. Okay. So this will be a good one to see what it is after doing a crankcase filter, because I don't know when he changed his last. Okay, let's go ahead and rev it up. Let's just let it warm up. Let's uh, let's have him get a crankcase breather. Do we have one for this? No, we'd have to get one. 2006. 235. All right, dude. Let's see what we got. Whoa, you can tell that ain't gonna be good. 5.3, 5.5. Okay, take it up to 1500. So this one's got 235,000 miles, and at idle, and 1,500, it's running about five and a half. So, it seems like the ones that pop are above, you know, when we get above 4.0, that flutter test seems to be a pretty good indication you got excessive crankcase pressure. I love info. This is how you learn stuff. You gotta gather the data. All right, what do we got here? Battle of the Forge. 2008, 64. 164K. Let her rip. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. We're four point, yeah, we're 4.7 on this bad boy. Okay. Take it to 1500. Eight point eight, double. All right, let it idle. I mean, look at this. Obviously, we got some blow by here. Let's see if it's popping a cap. Turn it off for just a second, Tyson. Let me get the other cap here. All right, fired up. <laughs> yeah, this thing's huffing and puffing. Okay, let it go ahead. And let it let it let it warm up. All right, let's check our another Ford. Now this is not a 6.4. This is going to be a 6.7. So it's a newer truck. You want to keep it running? I'm, that one that one might not last. But I love all this engine work that we're about to. Is a 2022. 2022, okay. With 92. I'm gonna shut this down. This is gonna get a little hairy. We've decided we're not gonna let that warm itself up because I, it don't sound good. All right, let's do it. 
Well, see, when you first start it up, hardly nothing. 0.9. Okay, take it to 1500. Point four. Okay. All right, go ahead and let it warm up. Let's go back to start at the front of the row here. Go back down to the Chevys. Okay. All right, let's just check our coolant temp. Gauge says about 180, okay. 160, 180. So it's it's warm. We're good. Let's go ahead and move, move, room, rev it up a little bit. Okay, that's good. Uh, at idle, we're still, now we come up a little bit. So we're point four at idle. And then rev it up. Actually, I'd say got just a little better. It's pretty dang close. About the same. Point three, yeah. Point three. Tyson, you did a great job here, buddy. All right, this one's warmed up to 28. So we're going to say point three. Still about the same. Okay, rev it up. About 1.3. Same. Interesting. Doesn't seem, so far, doesn't seem to make a difference. Okay, cut it. Well, this is the one that was kind of high. This was puffing the cap, even warmed up. It's still puffing. 4.1, so it's come down about a point and a half, but it's still, yeah, five. It's come down just a tad. Okay, I would expect that, you know, especially things that are wore out, when it warms up, it should be a little better. Go ahead and shut it off. And then we got, is this the 2015 Chevy? Yeah. Okay, we're 1.3 warmed up at idle. Came down just a skosh. We were 1.5. Rev it up. 1.9. Okay. We are uh, at warmed up. We are at 0.4. We've come down a little bit. It was a 0.9 cold. Uh, okay, rev it up. I'm gonna say it, call that point four two. Okay. Okay, this is the Dodge 2020. Okay. So we are 2020 Dodge. Uh, we've come down a little bit on this warm up. We're about, I'm gonna say 1.0. About the same, 1.0. Okay, turn it off. We're gonna change the, uh, the crankcase breather on it and see it if that if those will come down and we'll, we'll show that test here in a, in a minute. There's little filter elements. You can actually see them, they're not all black. Installation. So go ahead and let's start it up. It's the crankcase uh, breather filter element. We want to see if our, our readings come down. They weren't excessive. Our readings at idle cold are, they came down about not quite a, uh, a half a point, but we were at 1.4, now we're, you know, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, cold. Okay, take it up to 1,500. At 1,500 before, we were 1.2. Oh yeah, we're quite a bit. So now we're, we were at 1.2, now we're less than 0.5. Okay, and I don't warmed up, we are. It's a tad lower, it's 0.7. And now at 1500, it's half it. So that's a good indication. When you're getting up on a 6.7 Dodge, when you've got over uh, a point and a half at idle of crankcase pressure, you the first thing you ought to do is uh, replace your crankcase breather. That's, that's proof positive right there. Because anytime that you're building up uh, crankcase pressure, you are losing power. So we tested eight vehicles, four Chevys, ranging from uh, 2008 to 2016. What we did on the one Dodge, because that customer wanted a crankcase breather, we measured it cold at idle and at 1500 RPM. Here's our idle and this is cold. 
This side is hot. We had 1.4 at idle cold, 1.2 at 1500 cold. Then we uh, got it hot, the engine hot. It dropped to 1.0 at idle and it stayed at 1.0 hot. We changed the crankcase breather filter. It basically, same vehicle here, the Dodge with the crankcase filter. It, it almost halved the idle cold halved at 1500 not quite half hot but at 1500 hot it, it halved it so ba I, I would say it halves the amount of crankcase pressure which will allow your engine to burn less oil and generate more power that's, that's a fact if you're an engine builder sweet <laughs>